Well, all right. Uh, this is a something obscene knife that many of y'all uh, probably will notice as it's had many videos done since it's been out for well over a year already. But the big thing, the big reason why I wanted to do a video on this knife, besides the fact that it's one of the ones that I picked up at Blade Show, and I freaking love it, uh, but also I wanted to re, like, re-up its availability as in the fact that it has drastically lowered in price since they came out with it oh so long ago. This thing originally, again, like 13, 14 months ago when they, they came out with it, they pri had it priced MSRP'd at $475. Woo! That's a lot, right? $475. Few people bought it in that $300 to $450 price range. And that just blows my mind. Do I think it's an awesome knife? Yes, in many ways. I, I do, I think it's a really, really good knife. Uh, the, the blade shape is freaking awesome. It's 20 CV, 3.5 inches, titanium handle, uh, milled pocket clip, really solid ergos. I mean, it, tall, flat grind. It cuts, and it cuts for freaking days. I love how slicey this thing is, despite that it doesn't have a hollow grind. Oh boy, would it be even more sick if it had a hollow grind. But that's okay because it still definitely gets the job done. But I was able to pick it up at Blade Show this year for 2024 for like 230 bucks. Yeah, yeah. On their site right now, if you go, when posting this video, if you go on their website, they are got them marked down to 250. 250. And that is a pretty darn good price. That is a swell deal for really cool cleaver, choppy, choppy Warren Cliff style blade. Uh, if, if how, however you want to classify that blade, their little fist bump thing is pretty rad with the lightning bolt on it. I mean, how badass is this sticker right here? Woo! Yeah. And then they threw in this guy, which looks pretty gnarly. His beard is more untamed than mine is. <laughs> but no, this is this is a great knife, and uh, I I love the their overall profile, the overall aesthetics of it is is what's my jam. That's you know my cup of tea these days, and uh, <laughs> it it definitely made me think of the arcane crawler as being a wonderful drawer companions <laughs> like these things just belong sitting next to each other in, in my knife drawer in one of my knife drawers yeah the, these are uh, they they definitely um, have some similar vibes going on with them <clears throat> but uh, the, the thing that I love about the lek here <clears throat> is the fact that the handle design is much better on the back end than the arcane crawler. The arcane crawler is like really pointy and you know has these sharp lines, uh, nice you know big triangular cuts that uh, really gives not a whole lot for your pinky to wrap around, uh, and it kind of like digs into my palm, the back end of my palm there a little bit, and it's not as comfortable as I would like it to be, whereas this guy, your finger goes, your pinky goes right there, lanyard with, with bead doodadded up, uh, kind of helps a little bit as well, but it's just, it's a little more comfortable ergonomics wise. It definitely fits in hand a little bit nicer than the arcane crawler does. It's, and it's also just, just a hair bigger. Just a hair bigger? Not really. Maybe they're they're actually pretty much the same size. It just this guy feels and looks bigger. I, I'm assuming because of the uh, slimmer profile on the handle on on the crawler. The uh, the one thing that I <laughs> I wish that they did a little differently uh, is the thumb stud. That's really my only big gripe. Uh, I just I'm not a, 
a big fan of that triangular thumb stud. It requires a learning curve as far as uh, deployability goes. Uh, it, it just takes takes a little bit to, to get used to you know where your placement goes and, and how much uh, you need for the underfinger flick and getting it past its detent which is a little bit of a stout detent being out of the box and only having you know carried a, a, a number of days so far it's definitely still got much more break-in period as as far as uh, I'm concerned but yeah I mean just like look at that that thing is sick it just looks so freaking cool and that's that's what it did it for me that's that's where once they got the price down to to uh, <clears throat> where it was definitely feasible for me and along with so many others uh, it, it, it kind of was a no-brainer grab like 220 230 bucks at Blade Show, uh, I just like I, I I couldn't say no to that. And they were like their table, their booth was a great big one that was in the smaller room, but like right when you came into the smaller room, and so like he just kept staring me in the face. I really like it. It's my first and only something obscene knife. <clears throat> here's a uh, here's another comparison that uh, also has some somewhat similar vibes to it. This is the Vostid RS Chaos. Well, mine is the Mayhem since I got the first batch and when they were still calling it the Mayhem. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, there that gives you gives you an idea of how that stacks up. Those three very uh, similar vibes to one another. God, I love my Arcane Crawler and my Vostid Mayhem. But uh, that something obscene leak, or lek, however you pronounce it, L-E-K, it's, uh, it's rather tasty. Uh, overall, it definitely is more of a form over function uh, knife. <clears throat> the, the ergos are not the greatest. It's just something that's just, you know, wild. It has a little bit of chunk to it. There's quite, quite a bit of... Uh, milling on the inside to kind of lighten the load a little bit but uh, he's still a, he's still a beefy bad boy and yeah I just I just wanted to draw some attention to it again now that they've really knocked down the price and made it much more feasible it just the price point now makes sense whereas before it kind of really didn't make sense so yeah, let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and um, and if if you're mildly interested in it uh, at the 250 price point, it's worth taking a stab at. Stabby, stabby, stabby. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.